Hello everyone. Now today we are going to see the governor. So what is exactly governor and what is its function? So governor it is a mechanical device which is basically used to meter in the supply of fuel to the engine. Means it is used to control the fuel supply towards the engine. So governors they are basically first classification is it is the basic classification is centrifugal governors. Then the centrifugal governors is categorized into two parts: there is pendulum type and loaded type. Then pendulum type is Watt's governor, which was developed by the scientist Watt. And in loaded type, there are two types: one is spring control, another one is dead weight governor. And now this dead weight governor is again divided into two parts: there is Poulter governor and Kroll governor. And this Kroll governor is now categorized into four: that is Hartnell. Harder, Wilson Hartnell, and Pickering governor. So the basically, these governors mostly whatever the governors we are using in the vehicle, they are all centrifugal governors. Now what is centrifugal governors? So centrifugal governors they are basically based on the balancing of the centrifugal force on the rotating balls. So these are the rotating balls which are attached to these governors. These are the rotating balls. And uh, these for this, these balls, they will be moving outward. Is the radial force will be acting, and on the on that ball as the system will be rotating through this dual gear system. So now it, uh, this system it basically consists of two ball, miss, uh, balls which having equal mass and they are attached to the arms. And these balls they revolves with the spindle which is driven by the engine through the dual gears. Okay then. As it is rotating, so this uh, particularly the sleeve, the sleeve which attached at the lower part, as the balls they are moving outward, so the centrifugal force will be act on this rotating balls, and these balls it will try to move outward. And if they are moving outward, then this is the sleeve, and this sleeve it will try to move up upward, so that it will control the fuel supply which is going to the engine. So here there is one needle is there, so. It will control the supply of fuel towards the engine. Means when the load on engine increases, the engine and the governor speed decreases. So this results in the decrease of centrifugal force on the ball. So the balls, when there is no load, it will move inward, and the slew will move downward. And here, due to the downward movement of the slew, it basically operates the throttle wall, which is present at the carburet section. And at the and it will try to increase the supply of the working fluid, that is the fuel, and thus the engine speed is increased. While in the case when extra power output is, is required is provided, so as to balance the increased load, means when the load on engine decreases, the engine and the governor speed increases, which results in case the central force is increase on the central force on the balls. And thus, the balls they will move outward, and the slew it moves upward. And this upward movement of slew it will try to reduce the supply of fuel towards the engine. So in this way, this central governor it basically works. Now the governors it is having certain terminology. So first terminology of the governor is height of the governor. So height is nothing but it is the vertical distance from the center of the ball. To the point where the axis of the arms intersect on the spindle axis. So here height is nothing but it is the vertical distance. So this is the vertical distance where the center of the balls they are just intersecting on this spindle axis when they are moving outward. Yes, it is the vertical distance from the center of the ball to the point where these the intersections they intersect on the spindle axis. It basically denotes the height of the Governor. Then second is equilibrium speed. So what is equilibrium speed? It is the speed at which the governor falls is or the arms they are in complete equilibrium, and uh, the slew does not move upward or downward. Means the speed of that system will be such a way that whatever the forces they are acting on the balls they will be same, so that there will be no any movement of the slew. And the slew position will be fixed. So that uh, speed of that governor is called as equilibrium speed. Next is mean equilibrium speed. 
So it will be same as that of equilibrium speed. It is the speed at the mean position of ball or the stick. Means if there is some higher or lower limit for the stick movement or the ball movement, then in the middle, if the stick is at the middle position, then we will say that our governor will be having mean equilibrium speed. Then what is next terminology is maximum and minimum equilibrium speed. So this uh, maximum and minimum equilibrium speed is nothing but the speed. Means the speed at which the maximum and minimum radius of rotation of ball takes place without tending to move it either way, they are known as the maximum or minimum speed. And here we have to take a note that there can be an equilibrium speed between mean and maximum position. Means for maximum mean position that I have told you for the slew head is uh, this equilibrium speed now that slew will take that position between the maximum and minimum. So it will be same for the equilibrium speed also. Then what will be slew? If you see here, this is the slew. Then this is the arm. So when this balls they are moving outward, so this slew will try to move upward or in downward. But as for the movement of these balls, so slew lift is nothing but the vertical distance. This is the vertical distance which the slew travels. This is the vertical distance which the slew travels so as to change the equilibrium position or so as to control the supply of fuel towards the engine. So these are some of the terms, terminology which we are using for describing the governor. So this, this is basically the line diagram of the governor. So as I told you, so here this uh, governor will be taking speed from the engine. So this is the bevel gear system where in, from this the speed of engine will be taking going to the governor. And as per the load, taking place on the engine, either it will be increasing or decreasing. The simultaneously the speed will be also here increasing or decreasing, which will try to tend this, tend to move this flywheels away or inside. And this is the spindle, this is the slew. And if uh, they are moving outward, then this slew will move upward, which will try to control the supply, of fuel, will try to shut off this wall, throttle wall through this bell crank lever system. And when it is moving downward, it will try to open the system so that maximum fuel supply will take place to the, towards the engine. So here, the basic role of this governor is to meter in the supply of the fuel towards the engine, so as to increase the efficiency of the engine. Thank you.